All right, let's check out what's going on with Bitcoin then. So I see a lot of people freaking out right now over this dump, which, you know, is, is quite valid. So uh, let's just look at the market and see if, you know, we potentially have bottomed here or, you know, if we've got further to go. So uh, zooming in, obviously yesterday we outlined, you know, we really needed to get above this uh, 44,500. Now, I have been saying in the past few videos that I have been accumulating Bitcoin. So uh, I am still going to be accumulating Bitcoin especially if we do come down and do another retest of this kind of 41,200 area. Uh, for me, you know, the price of Bitcoin is is low enough that I'm, I'm willing to accumulate. If we do zoom in, you can obviously see that we did get rejected off this 44.5 yesterday. So uh, all in all, you know, we, we're still above this green trend line. This green trend line, in my opinion, is the most important thing in the macro term that we do need to be above. Uh, I would really not be scared. I wouldn't be, you know, getting out of bed freaking out if we did something like this and kind of just hung out here for another week or so. So, you know, I mean, as long as we hold, I mean, above, I'd say 40,000. I'd say as long as we stay above 40,000 and we stay solidly above this trend line, then, you know, in my opinion, I'm really not too not too fast about Bitcoin dropping a bit more. Uh, in the previous video, we did outline, you know, that we do have an uptrend on the RSI and it would be nice to see a bounce like this. Uh, we obviously haven't had that. Um, so we are kind of falling below this RSI uptrending level, but, you know, do bear in mind, trend lines don't mean shit. I mean, this this could just go like this and uh, make everyone look like a fool. So uh, this chart here, uh, not too much going on. We are above the green trend line that we need to be above. We're above 40,000, which is a mass psychological level. Uh, long, long term though, we are below the 200 days. So, you know, we, you can argue that we are in a bear market until we do get above that. Now, uh, coming over to this chart here. So I, it, you, you might think this looks different. Um, basically I had a bunch of fibs, bunch of drawings on here since yesterday and I've kind of cleared it up because you know, this, I mean, if we just come over to this chart, you can see there's, there's a lot of noise on this chart. So I've reset it a tiny bit. Um, we can see that we are still in this nice uptrend. Uh, you know, we are still having higher lines of attack. We are having higher highs in the mid to short term, and we are still putting in higher lows. So, you know, everyone is absolutely freaking out right now over not even a 5% drop. Uh, so, you know, I, personally, um, I, I think as long as we do hold this trend line, um, I would I would like to either see that we hold this on the daily or I wouldn't be freaking out until we close the daily candle above this. So, I mean, if we zoom in, you can see that we had a fairly decent wick below this trend line before almost a 2% uh, wick below the trend line. And if we do zoom in now, you can see that we've obviously had a tiny wick below the trend line. Um, so, you know, if we were to keep in line with a similar move, you could see us breaking down all the way to, you know, round about 41, really. Uh, if we did come down to 41, that would be similar to something like this. And then, you know, we could obviously pump up here. Uh, my number one point in this video is uh, everyone on my YouTube, everyone on my Twitter is extremely bearish right now. Uh, I do want you to keep that same energy if we do go like this and then spike up. Because um, obviously if we do something like this, which is still, you know, a higher low, uh, everyone on Twitter is going to be like, or everyone on crypto YouTube is, is still going to be saying, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. We're, we're bullish now. We're bearish yesterday. Oh, we're now bearish today. Like everyone's just flip flopping between positions. Uh, but, you know, do bear in mind on the micro term, we are above this, uh, this descending wedge that we've broken out of coming over to this. Uh, we are above this key green trend line. I, we haven't even come and touch, touched it yet. So, uh, you know, there's there's really no cause for concern until we do break below this. Uh, if we do come over to the total crypto market cap, though, uh, is a little bit of a shame because you can see that we had this really, really nice inverse head and shoulders with a bullish price target all the way up here of 2.5 trillion, which uh, from where we were yesterday was almost a 30% pump. So uh, we maybe should have seen that as a little bit too good to be true, but you know this this was very valid until yesterday, so we can now remove this. Uh, do bear in mind uh, in the short term on the total crypto market cap, we've now broken below the 618. But if we do just zoom out, uh, the most important 618 is down here at 1.84 trillion. 
and we are still above that right now so uh, really not too much going on I wanted to just make a quick video and update you for Bitcoin uh, do bear in mind if we do start losing this uh, specifically if we come down here and you know by tomorrow if we open another candle round here then I suspect we'll do something like this so uh, I'm not bearish right now as long as we do remain above this trend line uh, that is in the micro term if we do look at a slightly more macro perspective you know I, I really would not be screaming or, or crying if we did come down you know another 4.5 percent to double test uh, the you know the bottom of this trend line or something like that I mean this trend line has been in place for a very long time so you know per personally I do not find it out of the question to come back and double test it again uh, do bear in mind though in the slightly more micro term we do have an M pattern here coming over to the total again just to reiterate we have got a failed inverse head and shoulders so uh, particularly what I would be looking to keep above is the 1.84 trillion if the total crypto market cap does dump below that then you know I do see Bitcoin probably breaking below this trend line and probably at that point I would have my eyes on somewhere around here on the previous lows of 28,000 I, I really don't believe we would be coming back to um the previous bear market high which was 19,000 I just do think that's too steep my absolute you know kind of worst case scenario is, is somewhere around the bottom here so I mean 28,000 in my opinion it, it, it is very likely like don't get me wrong I'm not saying that we have to break bullish or bearish but I'm just saying in the short term until we do lose until uh, while we are above this green trend line just don't freak out in my opinion obviously this is my own uh, technical analysis so you should always do what's best for you but this is just my opinion uh, if we come over to the Bitcoin dominance as well uh, you, it does look like we've just slightly broken below the 200 day so in my opinion if we did open a candle tomorrow and we are still above still below the 200 day then uh, you know Bitcoin is probably going to have a harsh time but uh, I, I do find that hard to believe that the Bitcoin dominance is going to drop significantly because that would mean out, altcoins are outperforming Bitcoin and you know traditionally if we are entering a bear market it doesn't really make sense for altcoins to be outperforming so uh, all in all nothing's really changed we've had like a 5% drop we are still above all the key resistance that I want to be above uh, resistance now flip support so yeah uh, nothing's changed for me until we do break below 40,000 so yeah once again none of this is financial advice it is just my opinion on the market and you've always got to do what's best for you peace